Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the Old Lady, and this is Earning My Spurs, Season 3, Episode 6 of this FM22 save in Fortaleza, Brazil. Let's get into it. We like to do that. Hello, hello. I'm down here in the corner. Hello. And here is the situation across the various competitions that we are in. We are in first place in Serie A by eight points with a three goal difference advantage. So we're in good shape there. We're ahead of San Paulo. Uh, Nautico has made a surprise run right up to third place. Um, Flamengo has dropped to seventh. And there's some good teams down in the bottom there. Um, but that's it for the Serie A. In Libertadores, we are in the quarterfinal playing Flamengo. If we beat them, we have River Plate as our semi final opponent. That's going to be a good challenge. And. Uh, in the Copa do Brasil, uh, we are in the quarterfinal against Botafogo. So, could be a... We could sweep this lot. It's, it's still possible. We could sweep the lot, which would be quite a thing. Um, anyway, let's get on with the game. Uh, opposition instructions are fine. Am I happy with the changes they're making, except for Felipe going in at DM? Yes, Felipe is not a DM. I know he says he is, but he's not really, and you don't want to try it. Right, Gregory is suspended. Cabrera is injured. Yeah, that just leaves Ronald as the only option at defensive midfielder so let's see if there's anybody else in here that we need to worry about Felipe doesn't look as fit as he might let's bring in Luis Enrique because he's fit <laughs> which is more than we can say for pretty much anybody else especially with two guys out Cabrera is out for three to eight days from blisters and Gregory is suspended for about the next year or something. I don't know. He's suspended from everything. Oh, he got over his, his suspensions for the Serie A and the, and the Supercopa. Um, no, there was another one. He had a third, I'm sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter. He's also banned from this match, so it doesn't matter. Ah... <sighs> Thank you, Grigori. You're so consistent. Anyway, we are going to go to war with these guys. Uh, Castro. Oh, I wanted to tell you about Castro. You'll notice he's got five goals. What happened? Well, what happened is... Oh, will you stop it? I want this. There we go. What happened was... Uh, where are we from? He banged two goals in one game and three goals in the next game. So, yeah, he suddenly exploded and he can hit goals, apparently. Which isn't bad for an 18-year-old. Um, you know, there's things he could do better, but boy, what he does, he does well. So, um, he's been very useful for us. Uh, so, the team today... Given that uh, Gonzalez is cup tied, we're going to play Castro up front. Uh, Chapico, and also Castro, one of the games that he got three goals in was against Flamengo. So it just seems like a good idea to play him. Um, so Chapico, Guga, Barrero, Colombo, and Melo, Ronald. And Luis Enrique and Shailon make up the midfield with Adinho, David, and Castro making the forwards happy places to be. Uh, 
Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I want to say, but let's... Can I do it that way? Yes, I can. Luis Enrique is unsure. That's because he's peeved because he thinks he needs to leave. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. We already saw the team. Now the team huddles up. Finally the team kicks off. Castro, we're in the whites. Flamengo in their traditional red and black red and black hoops. David pushes past his man. Gets the ball back. And then does nothing with it. Okay. Great start. We do have a 3-1 lead from the first leg. So they do have an away goal we have to match if we can. They are definitely going to be coming for this. Nice block. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not a good start. One more goal and they're in the lead on away goals. So that's not a good start. Let's go with a little shouty shout. Oh, they're unhappy about being berated. <laughs> well, that's fine. Be unhappy, but do something. Castro gets a shot on at least. Ah, come on now. Nope, nothing. Chase him to the sideline. Cut him off, cut him off. Ah, there it goes. Well done. Oh dear, oh dear. Now they're leading on away goals. <sighs> Castro, Edinho, goal. There's our away goal, so now we match them. If we can get a second away goal, we'll be in a happy place. Shailon, through ball for Edinho. Edinho makes no mistake. Flicking it past the keeper. Who doesn't really react. That was an interesting passing play. Jepico gets this one, at least. And that's half time. Alright, a little bit better toward the end, but... Um, our shooting has not been good enough for it so far. It really needs to improve. Alright, let's get out there and do something useful, boys. So far we're hanging on and we're going to the semi-final. 
Davi's having a shatteringly terrible game. We're gonna bring him out for Romania. And do do do. Boy, we don't have a whole lot left on the bench. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it for that for now. My goodness. Find someone upfield, upfield, that's it, upfield. Some space on the wing. Now Bruno Melo. Bruno Marino working well together. And the header clears. We've got a lot of yellow cards today. It's not a good thing. Take to say they're fresh legs. They are at least fresher. And Castro is struggling, but I think I'll keep faith with him. Or I would, except for the fact that I have no else to take off. Okay, I guess Patino can come in. Why not? At the moment we don't need a goal. We need to keep them out. Nice block. Give it away, that's frustrating. <sighs> now we're going to extra time. Unless we score. Yeah, we saw it. It was terrible. score here. Oh, thank you, Jacko. You actually saved one. Nicely flicked down the line. Unfortunately, nobody there, but Nicely flicked down the lines. <laughs> Anybody feel like tackling, or is that too passe now for Brazilian players? Good block. This is getting a little worrisome. <laughs> Oh. 
corner. Come on, this would be a hell of a time to score. That's not how you do it. Oh, it's straight to penalties. How lovely. And Bruno Mello is anxious. He's the only player in the team who's anxious, and he's our best penalty taker. Isn't that lovely? I'm just going to let them play. I'll let them pick. It's the easiest way to... Your spot you don't change your mind you know we don't do this but let's do it for a change I'm anxious no emotion no emotion no emotion With the utmost confidence in you all good luck and Bruno Mello switched to motivated and a bunch of others did too. That's good. Alright. Oh, I hate penalties so much. Come oh, on, nice try. Nice try. Chapico went the right way. Nearly got there. Bruno Mello, our main penalty taker, does the business. Andreas stopped. Stay alone now. Bury it, man. Bury it. Nope. Stands here. And Guga shooting for 2 2 here. Oh, great one. Great penalty. Weakened straight down the middle. Terrific. Leo Pereira. Leo Pereira. Sends the keeper the wrong way, and we're in trouble. Gotta score both remaining ones just to stay in it. Gustavo Coutinho, that's a great choice. The forward who hasn't scored this year. Yeah. Yeah, felt that coming. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, so much work. Down the drain on penalties. Oh. What a waste. What a waste. Yeah, that was just not good enough. only get so many substitutions I can't change everyone I hate having to tell them that every single freaking time why didn't you sub this guy with a whatever rating because you only get three subs you pellic oh, I can't believe we lost a game to Flamengo again in the quarterfinal <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I don't expect that's going to happen, buddy. Got a bit of money for being in it. And there's a press conference, which I'm not going to do now. Oh, there we go. It's a long enough exercise anyway, this particular episode. 
Where are we coming back? Probably not for Botafogo, they're in like 19th place or some crazy thing. Um, it's, it's not good. They're, they're in a pretty bad spot, 19th. So yeah, we're not going to come back for the Botafogo match. Um, there's the one. Sao Paulo. And hopefully we'll be able to win the league and the cup again this year. But I really wanted that Libertadores. Oh, I can't believe it. Penalties. What a frustrating way to lose a game. Oh. I'm not saying we deserve to win, but we deserve to be in it. And there are penalties. All right, so we'll be back for Sao Paulo. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. We will get the Libertadores next year. I am so deeply frustrated. But that's life. It happens. As you can see, this is how things have been going. Uh, we got through in the Copa do Brazil. 6-1 over the two legs beat Flamengo 3-2, we beat them 3-1, and then we lost 3-1, and by the way, we lost to Seara in the middle too, even though we outplayed them. Uh, no, wait a minute, we didn't. They outplayed us. We played like crap. That's right. We played like crap. I remember now. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and take care.